Aloha. I'm Chris from Pro4X Exploits here on YouTube. And I'm doing a quick rundown of what I've done to my 2018 Suzuki DRZ400S. Damn it. stuff alone and use it the way it was built in the factory but I decided to make this motorcycle a little bit better for what I wanted to do with it. I decided to do some modifications, some additions and I did it all myself. Nobody put it on for me. All right let's start with the front of the motorcycle and we'll work our way back. That way I can remember everything that I've done to this. The most obvious thing, if you are familiar with DRZ 400s, is the front fender. This happens to be for a RMZ 250. I had to use a heat gun underneath to get my holes figured out so that I could mount it. I have a Tusk D-Sport Hybrid on the front. I went to Rocky Mountain ATV and ordered new springs for this, Race Tech Springs. To help suit my riding style and my weight. I mean, the extra fuel capacity. <laughs> oh, and the ride is so much better. A lot less pogoing, not as much bottoming. It's just so much more composed. It's uh, the first time I ever did a suspension job on a motorcycle that I've owned, and I should have done it to every motorcycle. I also, added LED bulb in the headlight enclosure night and day if you're going to do anything to your DRZ to your DR650 to your whatever all you have to do is swap out that light bulb it's so easy oh man it makes a it makes a world of difference at nighttime i also added oxbeam LED pods and they're wired into my high beams i added this cherry I think it's a 3.7 liter tank. It's cool. I like this one because you can see the fuel level in it. You don't have to wonder or pull a cap off. I added the mirrors on here. I took the stock mirrors off and added these ram mount mirrors, which are great. I already crash tested this one. There's some scrapes on it. You happened to see that during my intro. <laughs> I have a ram mount right here uh, that I use for mounting camera onto it. I also added a USB charger so that while I'm riding I can charge my phone or a camera. You can use it for GPS devices. Uh, I already burned one out once though. I had it plugged in while it was riding and it killed it. So just remember if you're somewhere in a rainy environment like I am, just unplug it, unplug it here and here. That's the part coming from the battery. Then I also have a quad lock phone mount with a damper, a vibration damper on it. And I have the Tusk handlebars. These are aluminum and they are, I believe, a CR bend for like the Honda. Probably the coolest thing if you like exhaust systems is this MRD exhaust. It's a full race exhaust from the header all the way back to the silencer. Right now I am running the spark arrestor in it and the uh, quieter baffle. It's still pretty loud, but uh, it's not like, oh, <laughs> not irritating loud. And these, this is a cage that I have, I bought off of eBay, I believe. And it's basically for my soft luggage. I have some waterproof soft luggage for when I go camping. And it basically, I can strap everything to it. You could strap your motorcycle down on this thing. And, and it also has some evidence of when I laid it down in YPO Valley. I wiped out in YPO Valley. <laughs> uh, also, 
I'm running the D-Sport uh, Hybrid on the back too. I'm gonna do a review on this one versus the other one that I used before. Um, and I'll put that on online. What else have I done? Uh, the very first time I tipped this thing over, it was the first ride I ever went on. I tipped it over in some lava rocks. And of course, I punctured my engine case right there. And luckily it was just a crack and I didn't realize it was leaking until I got home and it wasn't even dripping. So get rid of your magnesium cases, put on a, this one's a, a billet aluminum. The other side, I just have a, a cover on it. These foot pegs, another eBay. These are, uh, I believe, just uh, some, some take backs. So they were like 15 bucks, but they work really well because they're so much wider. And when you're standing up, they don't abuse the bottom of your feet as much. Stuff you can't see, I did a, what's called a three by three mod. You cut a three inch by three inch hole in the top of the air box to get better breathability. And then you have to do a jet kit. So along with the, the exhaust system, you have to do more air intake, fix your jets. So I did a JD jet kit and I jetted it for about 2000 foot level here because that's about where I live. I spend a lot of time at the sea level, but I also spend a lot of time up on volcanic mountains. So um, I try to do it in between. I did wear out my, my chain guide. So I bought a new one, put that one on there, and I've done three, three oil changes on it already, and I'm just at 7,600 miles. I really like this bike a lot. I bought it brand new 2018, but I bought it in 2020. It was sit out, sat on the dealership floor for two years. I got this thing for a sticker price of 4,700 out the door, 6,200 bucks, brand new, never been ridden. That's what I have done. Pretty simple, huh? Well, what do you think? DRZ 400S 2018 edition and the modifications that I made to the motorcycle in order to suit my riding style, I guess you could say, and what I plan on doing with the motorcycle. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let me know what you thought about the video. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Uh, do you have some suggestions about the motorcycle or how to make my video better? If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe. I'm trying to grow this channel and make more content. I've been doing it for a long time. I just haven't been very serious about it. But now I got a lot of time on my hands. So I got some truck stuff. I got Jeep stuff. I got volcano stuff. I've got all kinds of stuff to do. And I just want to share it with you. So please share your comments. Give me some constructive criticism. Let me know how I'm doing. And I'll see you back on the next time. Don't forget, watch Pro 4 Exploits.